Hey, Dave here. Today we're going to talk about replacing the battery on the FLIR 1 camera. I have a Gen 2 here. Go through that and see how that works. Okay, let's start. First of all, you need your FLIR 1. You need a battery that I ordered off of Amazon. I think using the keywords FLIR 1 battery replacement. This one, let's see. It has the part number of SDL352054. So I believe that is the correct one. And we're going to find out here when I open it up. All right, so we're going to use this pry to try to get in here. Pry the sucker apart. Wait a minute. That was pretty easy. What do we got here? Come on. Uh oh, I turned it on. Let's turn it off. Turn it on again. Let's turn it off. There we go. Alright, so now we have it. SDL352054, 3.7 volts, 350 milliamp hours. That looks like what we're looking at. Okay, I learned a couple things here. First of all, you want to take off this little pad here. Uh, he covers the connector. The, uh, the lead right there on that battery is far shorter than this one they give you in a replacement. And this connector in particular it just pops straight up. It doesn't come out this way. And that's why I ended up breaking off the piece of plastic on the other side, a little retaining clip. So, my bad. Not the end of the world. I'm going to just put him right back on there. I'm sure he'll power up just fine. So this plastic has a little stri uh, sticky strip in it right there. I'm just going to put the battery right into him. Snapping that battery right into the plastic sticky strip. And I'm just going to move the wire, stick him right back on there. Alright, so now I'm just going to do the battery in a little loop there. Bunch of plastic snaps. Let's see if it'll work. Looks like it's turning on. So, reading the old battery, looks like we got four volts. 3.7 volts is what it's listed as. So, is it different because it was under load? I don't know. We'll take a look and try the new battery and see if that works. Okay, so that died really quick when I put it in the phone, so we'll let it sit here and charge for a couple hours and see what happens. Alright, so after five minutes, we are at 77%, which is about a 13% loss in battery because we started at 90%. So that doesn't seem too bad. We'll try the original battery and see how that holds up. Okay, here's the original battery. It went down about 15-16%. Uh, and um, <clears throat> it also disconnected from the amp about two or three times, which was the original problem, which the new battery did not. So that about does it. Um, the original battery isn't good for much, except, you know, you might want to power up an old laser with it. Anyway, yeah, if you uh, don't play around with lasers, then I just go ahead and chuck it, use your new battery, and you're good to go.